Teresa Barnes, a senior researcher at NREL, emphasizes the necessity for continuous advancements in solar technology to drive its widespread adoption and integration into our power systems. As solar energy aims to contribute up to 40% of electricity generation, old technologies alone cannot meet these growing demands. The focus lies on enhancing the efficiency, affordability, and sustainability of photovoltaic or PV modules on a much larger scale. New module designs and panel technologies like bifacial or tandem panels are being explored, but their real-world performance remains crucial. To ensure the success of solar as a ubiquitous technology, predictability and reliability in the field are vital considerations for future developments. So, how do the outstanding improvements of solar panels help the household economy? Why is it valued by the government for future development? Join us as we cover the latest news about this remarkable battery in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. And before we begin, we ask that you please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our interesting videos that come out in the future. Now, let's go ahead and get started with today's content. In today's value, we found out what the benefits are of solar batteries. Solar panels have emerged as a force for good in the quest for a greener and more sustainable future. With a global solar voltaic capacity exceeding 192 gigawatts last year, solar energy became a significant player in the global energy landscape. And leading the way in solar installs are China, the US, and Japan showcasing their commitment to renewable energy sources. Recent breakthroughs in solar panel efficiency have further solidified the position of solar technology. At the NREL workshop on high-efficiency crystalline silicon solar panels, researchers achieved an unprecedented efficiency of 26.7%. By leveraging advanced materials and innovative manufacturing techniques, this breakthrough has the potential to revolutionize the industry, making renewable energy more accessible and cost-effective. Moreover, solar panels have proven to be a major catalyst for job creation. In the U.S. alone, the solar industry employed over 263,883 solar workers in all the 50 states, the District of Columbia, and Puerto Rico as of last year. This represents an increase of 8,846 jobs, or 3.5% growth since 2021. These jobs span across manufacturing, installation, maintenance, and research sectors, contributing to economic growth and providing opportunities for individuals. Solar energy not only reduces carbon footprints and combats climate change, but also reduces dependence on foreign oil and fossil fuels. With the capacity to generate clean, renewable energy every day, solar panels provide a reliable source of electricity, even when it's cloudy. Additionally, their long lifespan of 25 to 30 years ensures a stable and consistent energy supply, minimizing the need for frequent replacements or repairs. Solar panels present a promising solution for a greener and more sustainable future. As advancements in technology continue to drive efficiency improvements, solar energy will play an increasingly significant role in powering our homes and industries, paving the way for a cleaner and brighter tomorrow. How cost-effective are solar panels? If you're thinking about getting solar panels for your home, there's a few things to consider that can help save you money. First, if you have a high utility bill and live in a location with lots of sunlight, solar panels might be a great option for you, especially if you qualify for tax breaks or other savings. The cost of electricity from traditional sources keeps going up, making solar panels much more appealing for homeowners. However, it's important to understand the true cost of solar panels and whether they'll be cost-effective for you. On average, solar panel installation and the system together can run anywhere between $15,000 and $25,000, sometimes even up to thirty-five dollars depending on your location and other factors. But don't worry, because solar panels can generate their own power, which can significantly reduce or completely eliminate your monthly electric bill. Keep in mind that electricity rates and usage can fluctuate, so your savings may vary depending on these factors. It's essential to calculate how much energy you regularly consume to determine the size system you need. Thankfully, solar panels are designed to last up to 20 years or more with minimal maintenance costs. To shop for the best deal, consider getting quotes from different solar panel companies and explore potential rebates or incentives that could lower the overall cost. 
The tools are available, like the Solar Reviews Calculator, to help you estimate the system size you need. So, if you're keen on going green and saving money on electricity, solar panels could be the wise option for you. Take time to research and compare options to find reputable providers who can assist you in making the switch to solar. So how does the government support the installation of solar panels? Make sure to make the most of government incentives when considering clean energy upgrades, like putting in rooftop solar panels. A significant update to an existing energy-related tax break passed in 2022 now allows taxpayers to receive a 30% federal tax credit for the cost of solar installation and other approved clean energy equipment. It means that if your solar system costs $15,000, you can get $4,500 credit, which is 30% of $15,000, to help reduce your federal taxes when tax season comes around. This incentive applies to eligible equipment installed after December 31, 2021, and continues at the 30% rate until 2032, with a gradual reduction afterward. Depending on your state, you could also qualify for additional benefits such as cash back, property tax exemption, waive fees, and expedited permits. Some states even allow homeowners with solar panels to sell excess power back to their local utility companies. To find out more about incentives available in your state, you can check the database of state incentives for renewables and efficiency. Now, keep an eye on government trade policies too, because they can influence solar panel prices. In recent years, tariffs on imported solar panels have affected cost and supply. Stay up to date about any changes, and that can help you make the best decision for your solar panel installation. Which solar panel brand would you choose if you live in Texas? Texas is a popular spot for solar energy due to its sunny days and higher energy bills. With so many solar contractors to choose from, finding the right one can be overwhelming. In this guide, we've done the research and found the best solar companies in Texas to make it easier for you. Here's our top picks. Sun Power Solar is a great national provider, while ADT Solar offers the best warranty coverage. For those seeking good financing options, Blue Raven Solar is an excellent choice, and Momentum Solar offers solid regional coverage. When it comes to installs, Freedom Forever stands out, and Solar Time USA is an outstanding local installer. If you prefer a seasoned solar provider, Longhorn Solar is a trusted veteran in the industry. The cost to go solar in Texas is below the national average, at only $269 a watt. After the 30% federal solar tax credit, the average 7 kilowatt system's cost can be reduced from $18,800 to $13,181. However, some might find the total cost of a solar system steep. To save money during the installation, consider utilizing Texas's solar incentives and tax credits, and choose the right type and size of solar panels. Adding solar panels can increase your home's value by about 4.1% in Texas, which means up to $10,562 for the average home valued at $257,628. Solar homes also tend to sell up to 20% faster than non-solar homes, making solar panels a valuable addition with multiple benefits for homeowners. When thinking about going solar in Texas, explore the available incentives and credits to maximize your savings. With the right solar company and smart decisions, you can harness the power of the sun and enjoy both financial benefits and increased property value. So the most recent information on costs and government initiatives to promote the switch to renewable energy is provided here. Next in today's episode, we get into how solar panels actually work. Solar panels, when paired with batteries, offer a wonderful way to power our homes while reducing our reliance on the electrical grid. During sunny days, these panels generate electricity for our household needs and any extra power sent back to the grid, spinning our electrical meter backwards. This smart process, called net metering, helps us offset our electricity bills and even achieve a $0 balance. But let's take it a step further. For complete sustainability and independence, batteries come into play, storing the extra solar energy generated during the day. Then, when the sun sets, we can continue using this stored solar power to meet our energy-saving needs. It's like saving sunshine for a rainy day. One great option for an all-in-one solution is solar roof power walls for batteries and an easy-to-use monitoring app. By going with solar panels, everything works seamlessly together, making it simple and efficient. While this choice may come with a higher price tag, the convenience and harmony it provides make it worthwhile for many folks. With solar panels and batteries working hand in hand, we can achieve our off the grid dream, ensuring constant power supply and energy independence, even during grid outages. It's an amazing way to embrace sustainability and do our part for a greener future. And how do solar panels save us money on electrical bills? Solar panels offer various ways to save money on our electricity, such as its reduced reliance on the grid. 
Generating your own electricity with solar panels reduces your dependence on the grid. This leads to lower energy consumption from your utility company, translating to more affordable energy bills. Moreover, net metering benefits many regions. Net metering policies allow homeowners with solar panels to sell excess electricity back to the grid. When solar panels produce more energy than you use, you receive credits or financial compensation, which can offset future electricity bills. It also encourages energy efficiency. Installing solar panels often prompts homeowners to be more mindful of their energy consumption. By being energy efficient and conserving electricity, you can further lower your overall energy usage and enjoy additional savings. In long-term cost effectiveness, while the initial installation might be substantial, they typically last 25 to 30 years. Over this time, you can expect substantial savings on your electricity bills. Studies show that homeowners can save thousands of dollars throughout the solar panel's lifespan. Remember that the amount of savings can vary depending on factors like the size of your solar system, your energy uses, and the specific policies and incentives available in your area. Embracing solar panels can pave the way for significant financial benefits and contribute to a greener, more sustainable future. How much maintenance do solar panels require? The cost of maintaining solar panels is generally minimal compared to the initial installation cost. Solar panels themselves need very little upkeep since they have no moving parts and are designed to withstand various weather conditions. However, there are a few maintenance tasks to keep in mind such as regularly cleaning the panels to maintain their efficiency. Dust, dirt, leaves, and bird droppings can build up on the surface, reducing their ability to absorb sunlight. You can use a water and a soft brush or sponge to clean them up, or opt for a professional solar panel cleaning service, which can run you between $10 and $30 a panel. Another consideration is the inverter, which may require maintenance or replacement after 10 to 15 years. Inverters convert solar power to usable electricity for homes and businesses. Budgeting between $500 to 1000 bucks for a replacement is what we advise. Monitoring your solar system's performance is crucial in identifying any issues or inefficiencies. Some systems come with monitoring software to track energy production and detect abnormalities. Professional inspections every few years can also help identify maintenance or repair needs with costs ranging from $100 to $300 a year. But remember that the mentioned maintenance costs are estimates and can vary based on factors like system size, where you live, and other specific requirements. Consulting with solar panel professionals and following the manufacturer's guidelines will help ensure your solar panels last a long time and perform like they're supposed to while keeping your maintenance costs in check. But why do we choose Tesla solar panels? We opted for Tesla solar tiles, which are new roof tiles that are like hundreds of tiny solar panels connected together, creating a regular looking roof that's actually a giant solar panel. We know it might sound a bit crazy, as we really didn't need a new roof, but we went for it because it offered the most coverage and looked great too. Most people who chose solar tiles either have an old roof that needs to be replaced or are building a new house where the solar tiles become the new roof. But regardless, we decided to go with this option to get the biggest solar array for my roof for all its different angles. The process of getting these solar tiles installed was pretty involved and there was a lot of paperwork and steps to go through. Tesla's reliability with this product has been a bit up and down over the years, but when we ordered, things went smoothly. They assigned me a Tesla advisor who guided me through everything from paperwork with the authorities to the final installation. It took about eight months from signing the agreement to actually activating the system. Overall, we're happy with my decision to go solar with Tesla setup and had these impressive solar tiles as my new roof. It was quite a journey, but we're pleased with the outcome. Moreover, how are solar panels used in agriculture? The Department of Energy predicts by 2050, we'll need about 10 million acres of land for terrestrial solar technologies to achieve our decarbonization goals. Surprisingly, the amount represents half a percent of the total agricultural land in the U.S. To address this need and foster a sustainable approach, the agrivoltaics method has emerged, which combines food and energy production on the same land. A study conducted by Michigan Technology University in 2021 revealed that over 80% of respondents would be more supportive of solar energy development in their community if it integrated both solar energy production and agriculture. Implementing the agrivoltaics method involves using semi-transparent LSC panels that allow sunlight to pass through while capturing and converting some of it into electricity along the edges. Sophisticated systems use customized algorithms to optimize ultraviolet light exposure and crop conditions. The benefits of this approach are pretty substantial. 
Farmers are able to reduce water consumption, leading to cost savings while also making better use of their land for both food and energy production. Some crops, like tomatoes, may even experience increased yields. The solar tree, as a new cash crop, offers farmers a diversified income stream. The solar panels also provide protection for crops against harsh weather conditions like storms, hail, and wind. Additionally, they facilitate a mutually beneficial relationship with plants. While allowing light necessary for photosynthesis to pass through, the panels capture wavelengths that plants can't utilize, such as infrared and UV rays, converting them into electricity. Furthermore, the plants contributed to solar panels' efficiency by cooling them in hot weather through water evaporation and reducing heat reflection. By embracing the agrivoltaics method, we can make significant strides in sustainable energy production while supporting agriculture and fostering a more resilient and environmentally friendly future. And that's it for today's episode. What do you think of using solar panels instead of traditional electric? How can we take advantage of it to improve our lives? Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to ring that bell so you can stay on top of all our new Tesla Car World content. Once again, we thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time. Until then, take care and be safe. Bye.